So I wanted to start this podcast out today with asking a very, very simple question. Now, some of you may not have the answer to this question, and that is okay, okay? I, I, Because I clearly don't know myself. That's why I'm making this episode. But that question is, why do people like to be helpless in video games? Why? Simple question. I feel like there's not such a simple answer. Is it because we like to be manipulated? Is it because you just like to... Maybe you're just a boss-ass bitch in real life, and you just... You just like to just you you like the adrenaline rush of not being able to fight off your 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 enemies, or maybe you just hate fun. I'm not I'm not sure what that exactly entails, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I saw this video yesterday on TikTok, and I'm about to show it to you. Okay, I really want to understand why people have this necessity to feel like that they just are powerless in a video game. That's not what video games were meant to be. I feel like in my eyes, I feel like it's supposed to be more of an all-out shooter, like something where you are nut, you are crazy, you can do whatever the hell you want, you can blow up whatever the hell you want with no repercussions, okay? That kind of, this kind of piggybacks off of that hatred episode, I think that was episode 10 from last week, okay? I, 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 want, I want to really get to the bottom of this and I kind of want to discuss this, but first, let's dive in to this video that I saw on TikTok. Wrong button, wrong number, sorry. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at this video. I'm going to lower my computer so it doesn't double echo into the microphone. And I want you to listen and just just listen to this guy's words. And I want you to just, 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 just listen. Hold up. We're finally getting a good dinosaur game. In this first-person survival horror game, you're going up against nature's apex predators. Use your courage, wit, and survival skills to outsmart them and survive the dense forests, towering mountains, and unforgiving deserts. You won't be able to kill the dinosaurs, so you have to rely on stealth. Think alien isolation, and if you know, you know. So, he said, right, like alien isolation. You can't kill the dinosaurs, okay? Now, I don't know if you can kill dinosaurs in real life because I wasn't alive then, okay? But this is a video game. And that's where, you know, where we start having a little bit of fun and being creative and killing dinosaurs in whatever creative way possible. Then he also goes on to mention Alien Isolation. Now, if you've played that game, which I have not, I have seen videos on it. I'm not really a horror game person. I don't... I'm not, I'm not afraid of horror games. I'm not afraid of horror movies. I just don't really think they're really that good. Like, I, I, I watched, like, Supernatural. I think that was it called. Is that what it's called? Supernatural? No, it's not. That's, that's a show. Um, oh, I forgot the name of the damn movie now. It, it was, it was, uh, where, like, supernatural things were happening in, like, people's houses. It was, like, the vacuum in the pool, like, went out and then like or went into the pool and then out of the pool it's like i, I forgot what the hell it was called um it's i mean it's gonna come to me and it's gonna be like a an epiphany but anyway um so you know things like that you know i'm not really into like horror things horror games horror movies it just isn't really that entertaining to me i i feel like i don't really have nightmares again i'm not afraid of it like there are some scenes where i jump where i'm like not really looking forward to it but if there's ever here's here's a hint if you're ever like really afraid of horror movies like if you know that a jump scare is coming which i usually do then it's not that scary so like this is a tip for anyone that is like super afraid or like wants to watch horror movies, but like gets afraid of this, you know, jumps and ends up pooping or pissing themselves. If there's a scene where it's super, super quiet, super quiet, like if it's so quiet, you can hear a pin drop in your house. Like there's going to be a jump scare. So just like, just know that it's going to come. Not literally. What? Anyway. So, so yeah, so that, that's kind of like my, my pro tip for, for you for watching horror movies. Um, but yeah, I, I always know when there's like a jump scare coming and I also know like when there's certain things that are supposed to be scary and like a lot of times the CGI has gotten a lot better. Like back in the day, like a 10 or so years ago, the CGI wasn't that good. So I would be sitting there and I'm like, that looks fucking not real. Um, and uh, yeah, so that, that was the reason why um, I also can't really, a lot of the horror movies, I can't really see myself in that situation. Like some of the stupid shit that people pull, like running away from the guy with the ax, you're like, dude. Don't you have a gun? Why aren't you shooting him? Like, I don't know. I just... <laughs> it's like the horror movie scene where 
It's like the guys that got an axe, right? And you have a shotgun. And then, like, they fight over the shotgun. And then, like, the guy takes the axe, right? Like, the main character takes the axe and they hit the killer over the head or something. And then they run away. I'm like, why? The gun's right there. Pick up the gun, shoot the guy in the face six times. You're dead. He's done. We're good. The movie over, okay? That is my. That is the reason why I would never do good in, in a horror movie. I mean, I. You know what? The sad part is though, I'd probably be the first one dead because I would be the one that actually be be able to survive in, in the horror movie. Not trying to brag, but that is kind of you know, that might actually be a thing. So anyway, um, after that, right? Um, we we were kind of now. Let's get back to the video here. <laughs> I I don't again just to establish. I don't watch horror movies i don't like you know horror games and stuff like that but when i play vi vi video games there's a reason why i never played alien isolation right i don't and this is also the same reason why i don't like battle royales or anything you have to like kind of loot yourself up to like some kind of position or whatever and then you die you lose everything i want to be able to kill the thing that's after me because in real life if that was happening i want to be able to have a way to kill this this thing right you know, that's also why I kind of like the concept of Ark or anything that's similar to Ark, Ark Survival, is because you can, like, build yourself up, and then you can go and you can, like, you know, you can create, like, you know, towns, and then you can uh, tame animals, like, you know, that's, that's different, okay, that, it's like, okay, that's the part of the game I'll never get to, though, because I'm just too impatient, that's, may maybe that's the millennial in me that needs the instant grat gratification, but, um, I, I don't, you know, I don't like games like that because it's just, I don't, I, it, it, I'm playing a video game. Like, I, I don't want to be stressed. I don't want to have to, like, build myself an empire. It's like, I do that in real life. Okay, that That's the portion of that, right? And then Alien Isolation, it's like, you've seen Alien vs. Predator. You've seen the Predator movies. Like, you're telling me there ain't any guns in this fucking place. You know what I mean? So, there, I, I think in Alien Isolation, um, there's, like, a flamethrower. I, I don't know. I don't think it, like, kills them. I think it just kind of scares them away if they're, like, chasing you or something. Um, but that that's besides the point. So, I what, what I really wanted to get across here is, like, why are people so, like, why do people like to just feel helpless in a video game? I just, I, I just, I can't see that mentality. I just don't get it. I, I don't understand why you'd want to survive in a video game. It's like... Yeah, I mean, on occasion, maybe, but it's like there are people that are hard, that all hardcore play survival games, and it's like, why? Like, do you not like to have fun when you're? I mean, maybe again, maybe that's the maybe it's the rush of it, and they and they love to like feel the the oh my god, I'm I'm a damsel in distress. I mean, maybe that's some dudes that just love to be like you know, maybe they're again, maybe there's some boss ass guys out there, some 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 alpha sigma males. That just love to feel helpless. But I mean, I'm just like, why do you want to feel helpless? I'm already helpless in real life. I, you know what I mean? So it's like, why the fuck would you want to be helpless in a video game that you paid money for? I don't know. Maybe I'm the psychopath, right? Maybe, maybe I maybe I am just like, maybe, maybe I'm a mass murderer w w when it comes to video games and I just want to kill everything in sight. That could be it too. Maybe I just want to, maybe I just want to take my day out on this Call of Duty game. That's, that might be it. All right. I think that's why I probably why I love Hulk Ultimate Destruction because I just want to take my day out on that shit and destroy it in every way possible. Okay. That might be it. Um, maybe I'm the psychopath. Maybe, maybe I'm the guy from hatred, but I'm not actually going to go on a rampage in real life. Just, just in a video game. Just to be clear. Just to be clear. All right. I don't know. I, I, I feel like, uh, I don't know, man. To to me to, to 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 me it's it's like why 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 would you want to go into a game, especially after a long day at work of like feeling helpless in some cases and like just go into a game and be helpless for like hours on on end like what's what is the point of that like not being able to kill the thing that's chasing you what is is it there are some people that are like adrenaline jun junkies yes I, I I I get that but why would you want to be like scared adrenaline junkie. Maybe it's for entertainment. There's not. There's another. There's another thing for that. Like there's obviously people that love to watch streamers freak freak the fuck out. I've seen videos on um, uh, on YouTube of that. I've seen videos on TikTok of that where people are just like freaking out on a game like Alien Isolation, and people love to watch it. You, you know, I mean that might be it too. But if you're a normal Joe schmo playing a game, like why would you want to come back from work and just be helpless? Like, you go from being helpless at work to being helpless at your house 
to being helpless in a, in, a, in a video game and then going to sleep and then ris- and then rinsing and repeating. Isn't that depressing? A- am, am I getting too deep with this? Is, is it too much? Because because at the end of the day, man, like I'm I'm sitting here and I'm like, why 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 would you want to do that to yourself? Is it you know, like tell me in the comments below? Did, sh- like this video, share with as many people as you can. But tell me in the comments below why you would want to do this. Again, I, I could see some perspectives as like, you know, maybe you're, again, maybe you're a boss and maybe you just want to have some adrenaline or if you're like a streamer, you know, you want to like get some entertaining va- entertainment value because there's also, there's there's the, there's the flip side of that coin where people love to see you fucking rage at things. Like, again, I saw Tim the Tatman for the first time in one of his rage videos and it was fucking hilarious. But, you know, like there are people that rage and then there are people that are scared of things and then they'll like, you know, like, oh my God. They'll like freak out and they'll have like mini heart heart attacks on stream and that that's what makes people laugh. All right, I I get it. Okay, I get it. Sure, yeah. Why why not? My my hair's messed up again. It's whenever I shower, you know. I gotta stop showering. That's gotta be the it's gotta be the solution. Anyway, <coughs> sorry. So you got a little cough in my throat, a little tickle in my throat. But Alien Isolation was, you know, it looked like a pretty fun game. Again, you know, you had to be creative. Like, things where you can maybe, like, craft things, but you have to be crafty. Like, this is this is the other side of this where I could see maybe. Like, you know, where you have to be kind of crafty to get away from things. But, like, dinosaurs? Come on. Like, you're, like you're going to survive an hour in the... Like, this is a Jurassic Park, bro. This shit ain't scripted. You know what I mean? Like, you're not really supposed to win these situations. Like, in real life, you know... You're gonna be dead in like within hour, within minutes. You know what I mean? Because it's just like you're in a, you're you're in a, you're in a forest full of dinosaurs that want to eat you, unless you're towards the edge of the island, which is like you know mostly car um er, er, herbivores. Um, but what are the odds of that even happening? Alien isolation. I don't even know if you would be able to survive that. Like if you kill one of those things, and you get the acid on you. You're probably gonna die. It'll it'll like. With my luck, I'll, like, stab it, and it'll, like, go in my eyes, and I'll be fucking blind. Ah! And then another one will come around the corner and eat, and eat my head, right? So, you know, I, I can kind of see the craftiness of, of, of it, where you kind of have to use, like, you know, in, in this video, they had uh, the flares here. I think, where where did, where was that? You'll be able to kill the dinosaurs, so you have to rely on... On stealth. Um, yeah, where is it? Yeah, like, yeah, like, there's, like, the flares and stuff like that, where you can kind of use... To like distract the dinosaurs, but it's like it's like you're telling me they can't smell me. Like you know that that's kind of like the 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 other thing to to this. It's like that's another reason why I see, you you know like how does he not know you're there? Like that's BS. Like he knows you're there. You know like look at that thing, <laughs> right? Let's let's go. Like you know this this thing to scare him off. Look like that. Come on, go away. This right there. See, like how do you not know that you, that you're there? Come on. You know what I mean? Like, like you, like you are, you, you're dead right there, right? That's another thing that kind of pissed me off about the alien isolation thing too. It was like the aliens know exactly where you are. They can like smell you or sense you or whatever the hell it is. But like, look, look at this. Like this thing could smell you. There's no way in hell he doesn't smell you right there. Like it's not like you're covered in mud, you know, hiding in the trees, like covered in sh- in like fucking dinosaur shit, you know, just hiding in the trees. Like, that's not what's happening. Like, you're, you, he knows you're there and you're going to die. And he, if, like, if you even breathe the wrong way, you're dead. So it's like, to me, it just makes no sense why it's like you, you actually believe that you're going to survive that. You know, maybe I'm just too re- realistic in, in some cases, but at the end of the day, it's like, why would this, this is the kind of stuff where I'm just like, why like you're dead 100 percent. like but then like you know you, you you go out of that situation right and you're like oh yeah i'm a ball i'm a g like i get i got out of that like i'm i'm 100 percent g- gonna survive this it's like no you're dead right there you're dead and this just in this 21 second vi- video this guy died four or five times just saying but just from the just from the clips that, that he was showing it probably isn't him playing it's probably from like the trailer or whatever but it's like you're dead which also brings me into something too. There was a dinosaur game uh, that I think was developed by CryEngine, which I kind of wanted to play, but it was a VR game, and uh, I never really—I don't even know if they even cre- created it. Let me actually look it up real quick to see if I can find it. Uh, CryEngine uh, dinosaur dinosaur VR game. 
It's probably let's see if I can find it on YouTube. Yeah, Achieved by CryEngine. Let's see if this is right. Or is it out already? And it just I, I I was looking for the trailer. Yeah, no, here here we here we go. You're like you're like next like you're you're like next to oh, actually I I won't spoil it. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it. Like look at how great this this was. This was made I don't know how how, how long ago Se seven years ago. This is insane. I I I I love Cry. I miss Cry, Cry Engine. I, I I wish that it really brought. It's, I wish that they didn't like screw up on the Crisis games and they actually like kept going with their engine. They would have been way ahead of Unreal Engine at this point. But now, now Unreal Engine is the standard now with all these cool graphics and whatever else. But this was seven years ago. CryEngine was not able to do this. Or um, Unreal Engine was not able to do this se seven years ago. CryEngine was way ahead of its time, but some, some stuff happened, unfortunately. Look at that. You just got you just got stung by a that was like a that was like a dragonfly. But it may not be. It may be like a mosquito. No, it's a dragonfly. Kill him! Kill it! Sorry. I'm fine. <laughs> but look at how look at how good this looks. This look this looks really good, this this game. I don't I don't I don't I don't think it ever went it went it ever went into production, which you know, it, it is what it is, but T Rex, right? Like wake up in, in like a group of eggs. He sees you. You better run. Look! Look! Look at the detail on, on this T Rex. It actually looks like it has real like lizard skin. It's crazy. I mean, if that was me, I, I would have been dead, let's be honest, in, like, real life. You know what I mean? Talking about these survival games. Look, see, that's an egg. That's that's a T-Rex egg right right there. So I think you're you're their food, essentially, in this trailer. So, yeah. And that that, that, that was the end of the trailer. But, like, like that was so much far ahead. So so much far, far farther ahead than, than Unreal Engine was. But... Like that's what I'm saying. Like in that situation, you're you're like you're dead. But like in, in these games, in these in these like you know in, in in these games that that are made to you know think that you're gonna make out make it out of a situation like like that, like you'd be dead 100. percent There's no way you'd survive this. Those those eggs are gonna hatch and you're gonna die instantly from those little T Rex babies. But like it, but like in like Alien Isolation or in this new in this new you know di dinosaur game, they're gonna be like, yeah, you're gonna make it out of this, hundred percent. You're making it out. Don't you worry, champ. It's like no, no, you're not making it out of that. Give me a few guns, give me some rocket launchers, then maybe I'd make it out of it, hopefully, but probably still not. You know what I mean? So it's like I don't know. I just I just think that it's I I just think that it's a little crazy that people are like yeah well this game is so much fun and I'm like yeah I mean for a game it's fun obviously it's a game yeah it should be fun maybe I'm just too realistic like why why would you want to feel helpless in, in in a video game and not even be able to fight back at all just have to hide you know is it like the stealth junkies is it like the people that love to break like people that love to break into people's houses and like steal steal shit i i, I don't know I'm, I'm just i'm just spewing shit now at this point you get that you know what i mean so i probably should i probably should end the podcast here because it ain't gonna get any better um if you do like this podcast if you like any of the part of this podcast please leave a like please leave a comment down below and tell me i'm insane i will not uh, fault you for for that, but uh, if you watch if you watch this this video all all the way through to the end, 
you have to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And um, you definitely have to drop a like and just share with as many people as you can. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much and have enjoy the rest of your weekend. Oh, 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 oh.